Hi, Dr. G here. I'm going to try to make a quick video of the last problem that we were working on before um, at the end of class today. There's a lot of crazy construction going on all around me. I am inside the building closed, but you might hear lots of things. I'm sorry. <clears throat> There's just no other way to do this. Um, so we were looking at the limit as x approaches zero from the right of one over x minus one over our tan of x. And first of all, we noted that we had an indeterminate form of type infinity minus infinity. So we had to transform it into a quotient of type zero over zero or infinity over infinity. So taking the least common denominator and combining, subtracting, we get limit as x approaches zero from the right of our tan of x minus x all over x times our tan of x. And now we notice that if we were to plug in zero, we would have a, a limit of the type zero over zero. Notice I did not say equals zero over zero because that's impossible. All right, so now we can use L'Hopital's rule. So using L'Hopital's rule, we get the limit as x approaches zero from the right of the derivative of the top, which is one over one plus x squared minus one over the derivative of the denominator. Well, we have to use the product rule here. So it's the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. All right, now let's clean this up so we can look at it. Uh, let's, it's a compound or complex fraction, whatever those are called. So let's get, it, get rid of the fractions that are within the fraction by multiplying the top and the bottom by the LCD of all the fractions. And so that would be just one plus X squared. So multiply the top by one plus X squared and then the entire denominator by one plus X squared. And after we distribute that, we get the limit as X approaches zero from the right of one minus one plus X squared over x plus 1 plus x squared times the arctan of x. And it looks like I can clean up the numerator a tiny bit. So let's call this limit. x approaches 0 from the right of just negative x squared over x plus 1 plus x squared times arctan of x. All right, now if we want to try to plug in zero again, it turns out we have another zero over zero indeterminate form. But that's okay. We can use L'Hopital's rule on that. So let's do it. So we get the limit as x approaches zero from the right of negative 2x over 1 Plus, and now I gotta use the product rule. This is the first times the derivative of the second plus the second times the derivative of the first. All right, good. Let's clean that up a little bit. So we get the limit, x approaches zero from the right, negative two x over one plus one plus our tan of x times two x. And now let's see if we can plug in zero. If we plug in zero on the top, we get zero. In the bottom, we get two plus zero. So this works. So we can say this limit is equal to zero over two, or just zero. And that's it. So we had to do L'Hopital's rule twice, but first we had to put it into a, a proper quotient of the proper indeterminate type. And then we had a lot of algebra to do. All right, have fun. And I'll see you in the next video.